So this is going to be my uh, attempt to put galvanized uh, metal storage shed together. It's uh, 8 by 10. So there's a bunch of parts I got to put together and it's going to go in this corner right there. So I'm going to level that part out. Maybe put concrete uh, tiles underneath and put shed on top. So let's skip to uh, time lapse. So, so this is one of the uh, most time-consuming parts where you gotta put these little washers, you gotta break them off, you gotta put them over the screw or the bolt. So it consumes a little bit of time, so if you have help, that would be nice if someone could help you just while you're doing something else, uh, separate these washers and put them on the uh, screws and bolts. But anyways, it's coming all along good, just putting up walls. So this is a storage shed, just missing a roof and the doors. But I've decided to uh, make a concrete path for it. So got my form ready. Just gonna mix some cement, and hopefully it's gonna turn out good.
All right, so I finished the pad last night. It got dark. I stopped filming. So I did this after work. Do not recommend anyone doing this in just a few hours. I mean, that was 3,000 pounds that I had to load, unload, and mix by hand. Uh, I'm paying for it today. Uh, back's kind of sore, but it didn't turn out too bad. I mean, I'm not a pro at this, but for storage, floor doesn't look too bad. I mean, looks pretty good. So the next step, I'm going to move this on top of the pad. I'm going to anchor it down and uh, finish putting on the roof and the doors. It was a lot of work. All right, so I got the storage up on the pad. Got to finish the roof and the doors. Just got another uh, million of these uh, bolts and nuts that I have to put on that the package came with. It's super, super small. But anyways, back to time lapse. so it's finally put together honestly the most difficult and time-consuming thing I ever put together it took me a long time I want to say probably uh, just the storage alone over a full day 
not counting the pad. Well, that actually I did after work. That was a lot of work too, but but this thing, oh my god, it took me more than a full day to put together. Pretty, pretty difficult. But uh, it turned out pretty good. These doors slide open. Gonna do some insulation on the inside because the roof gets pretty hot right now. Uh, the little glides, plastic glides, probably a good idea to lubricate them. Gonna use some Teflon spray or grease. Plus it's gonna make it last longer, I'm sure. But yeah, turned out pretty good. Pretty spacious too. And it's not too tall. I just didn't want it to stick out past the fence too much. So this looks pretty good. All there left to do is seal the bottom and run a couple anchors and screws to uh, attach it to that concrete slab. And a little bit of insulation on the roof just to keep it somewhat cooler. But yeah. So if you want to buy one, the only good thing about this one, this storage shed, is it was cheap. It was pretty cheap. But putting it together takes two people sometimes when you have to when you have to have someone hold the uh, little nut on the inside and you get up on the outside and screw the uh, the bolt in lots of screws lots of tiny screws very time consuming so prepare to spend at least a full day putting this thing back together or putting it together not counting the uh, the subfloor or the slab or whatever you decide to do for the bottom so that would be extra time but anyways this is it finally done I'm happy the way it turned out actually thanks for watching